This is Tim Albright with AV Nation at Infocom 2017 with Ramsey from Epson. How are you, sir? Very good. Good. Uh, you guys have, have I, I, I'm a former tech manager, and, and we actually were an Epson house, what I call an Epson house. We mm -hmm. used 90% of our, our projectors were Epson. Uh, we utilized the Brighter Future uh, program a lot. Right. It was a good program. And as I was transitioning out of that in, into this, you guys started introducing lasers. Yeah, right. It, and it's been a really cool technology in mm -hmm. general, right? Not right. just for you guys, but for, me, and for the education market, for yes. the corporate market. One of the things you're doing at, at this year's show is not necessarily a brand new projector, but you're, you're bringing, you're increasing the, the brightness, the brightness and, and yeah. some other stuff. What are you doing this yeah. year with lasers? Yeah, I mean, for the large venue market, uh, which includes fixed installations, rental and staging, et cetera, we're uh, expanding the uh, our Pro L1000 series. So we're introducing uh, up to 15,000 lumens now. Okay. And one of the exciting things that we're doing in, uh, in, in expanding this line is that even though we're going to uh, you know, 15,000 lumens, which is a lot of light output, the, the, fa the, the form factor and the design and the lightness that you, still, that you get with that is a 6,000 lumen Pro L1000 series, exactly the same thing. So the same footprint. Same so footprint. So it's not a, a right. ginormous, you know. Exactly. So if you compare it to the competition at that lumen range, it's just night and day in terms of size, weight, and, and all of that. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. From your standpoint, in, in Epson or just you, Ramsey, explain to somebody who still hasn't experienced laser how it's different yeah. and, and what makes it, you know, better. Well, um... Uh, the most obvious is that you don't have to change less maintenance. You don't have to change lamps as often. It's ever up to virtually 20,000 hours of maintenance-free op operation. Um, and then the other benefit too is you can 360 degrees of installation, so you can put it, you can hang your projector any which way you want, we'd like. Um, contrast ratio, color. Uh, it, you, you put power on. You don't have to wait for it to kind of get the full brightness. It just comes right on, yeah. right away. So there's a lot of little. Um, uh, related issues. Uh, well, and there's a couple things yeah. that I want to point on. The 20,000 hours, right? A right. traditional lamp is rated somewhere between two and 3,000, right? right? You've got a consumable, exactly. right? So that's one thing you have to figure out. Right. Your total cost of ownership of a projector. Right. The second thing, the, yeah. the power on, I, I'm also a programmer, yeah. a control programmer. So yeah. one of the most common screens that we programmers put in mm -hmm. is what's called a warm up page. Mm -hmm. And what does that warm up yeah. page do? It right. tells you to wait 90 seconds or wait 30 seconds yeah. or wait two and a half minutes for some projectors right. um, before you, we let them touch anything because yeah. if they start jacking around and, and pushing buttons, right. it can very well screw up the, the projector itself. So right. a laser is, is virtually, virtually instantaneous. Yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. That's pretty great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, new laser, the, the 15,000 lumen ones available now? Uh, they're shipping in December. Okay. Right. So we're introducing uh, six uh, SKUs models. Uh, from 12 to 15,000 uh, WXGA, and we're also introducing an SXGA plus, which is 4-3 aspect ratio, 1400 by 1050 uh, pixels, and that's uh, at 15,000. Is there a lot of m a large market for the 4 by 3 still? You know, it's, uh, I think it's around six or seven percent of okay. the uh, of the U.S. market. Yeah, so there's still applications, maybe in a museum where you don't need the, uh, H the wide aspect ratio of yeah. HD, uh, a house of worship potentially. Um, yeah. And is there a move to get it into the 1080p range or, or higher? Well, that's just that one projector. Oh, okay, okay. Play. So it's basically, it's, it's a high brightness, 15,000, 4-3 aspect ratio uh, at a very affordable price for that. But okay. then the other uh, six lines we're introducing are WXGA. Okay. Right. And uh, the 15,000 lumen version of that is uh, 120 volts. That's another interesting thing besides the, sm the small footprint is you can just plug it into 120 volt. Uh, on exactly. So you're getting the form factor, you're getting the, uh, the easy plug and play kind of like electric. You don't have to dedicate it and where you're going to place it. And or have that. a special plug. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and more amperage in the back. So. And more amperage in the back, right. All right, well, we're good. Um, the other thing too is we're also, uh, we have an ultra short throw uh, projector, uh, negative offset actually. And before we couldn't. Uh, Define negative offset, I'm sorry. Uh, so basically, the uh, when you project out of the ultra short throw, does it uh, does it shoot? Um, is there an offset from where the lens is to where it projects? Okay. So we can actually not just zero offset, which is where the lens. We can actually go below where the projector is. Oh wow! So maximum flexibility. Ultra short throw uh, lens allows you to put the projector very close to uh, a wall and get a super large 
image. And with all the adjustability of our uh, ultra short is that you can also with lens shift, you know, place it exactly where you want as well. Excellent. And so previously we had the X01, which maxed out 8,000 lumens. Now with the X02, which is shipping in December, will work with 12,000 and 15,000 lumens. So you're getting an ultra short throw projector at 15,000 lumens. And what's the light technology for that one? This is just the lens that fits on the projector. We're talking about the laser. Oh, okay, excellent. The lasers, right. Awesome. All right, Ramsey, uh, if find, somebody wants to find Epson, how do they do that? Uh, we're at the show floor in Infocom. <laughs> and Epson.com is At Epson.com, exactly. Right, Thank All you right. so much. Thank Ramsey, you. Ramsey, my name is Tim Albright. For more information about us, go to avnation.tv.